Hey everyone, welcome back, friends from all over the world. If you're new here, we'd love to have you subscribe and like the video. It really helps us out. A flash of light might now decide the fate of the world's most powerful warship. With new threats emerging faster and deadlier than ever, the US Navy is racing to replace brute firepower with physics. In the age of drones and hypersonic missiles, the answer may no longer be a bigger gun, but a beam of light. Let's dive into the secrets of the Navy. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just the latest aircraft carrier in the US Navy. It's the largest, most advanced, and most expensive warship ever built. It cost about $13.3 billion, weighs over 97,000 tons, and stands nine stories tall above the waterline. Its massive size and cutting-edge design mark a new era in naval power. The Ford can carry over 60 aircraft in normal operations, with space for up to 90 planes, including media, aircraft lined up on USS Gerald R. Ford flight deck, F-35 jets and helicopters on aircraft carrier deck, stealth fighters, electronic warfare jets, and support helicopters. That gives it more air power than some entire air forces. Its flight deck covers five acres, that's bigger than four football fields, and it uses an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or emails, to launch jets, replacing the older steam catapults. Emails reduces stress on the aircraft and allows faster, smoother takeoffs. But what really sets the Ford apart is how it launches and powers its operations. It runs on two A1B nuclear reactors, generating over 300 megawatts of electricity, three times more than older Nimitz-class carriers. That's enough to power a small city. This power doesn't just mean speed. It's the foundation of the future. The Ford is the first carrier ready to support energy-hungry systems like media, CGI of laser weapon system on carrier deck, advanced radar and electronic warfare arrays on USS Gerald R. Ford, next-gen radars, electronic warfare gear, and laser weapons. In the past, energy was a limiting factor. Now it's a gateway to new capabilities. From launch systems to radar networks and defense systems, everything on the Ford is built for the battles of tomorrow. It's more automated than any carrier before it, reducing crew size and speeding up response times. Its aircraft elevators are quicker and smoother, helping launch more missions per day. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just a ship, it's a message. The US Navy is preparing to dominate a rapidly changing battlefield. But to stay ahead, it needs more than size. It needs innovation, raw power, and weapons that can counter 21st century threats. Let's take a closer look at how the Ford's nuclear power system is a game-changer that could redefine naval defense. At its core, the Ford's nuclear system is more than just an engine, it's the backbone of its combat power. Its twin A1B reactors are far more powerful than those in older carriers, generating 300 megawatts, triple the output of previous generations. This extra energy isn't just for speed or endurance, it allows the Ford to support advanced tech that older ships can't handle. The key advantage is flexibility. Traditional warships often struggle to run powerful radars, sensors, or electronic warfare tools all at once. The Ford can handle all of that simultaneously, without compromising performance. That gives the Navy a huge edge in complex battles where fast detection and reaction are crucial. It also opens the door to next-gen weapons like high-energy lasers. Unlike missiles or guns, laser weapons rely on a stable power supply. Lasers have been talked about for decades, but only now, thanks to platforms like the Ford, are they becoming practical. With constant energy from the A1B reactors, lasers can be quickly recharged, fired repeatedly, and used in long battles without running out of ammo, because the energy is the weapon. This same power also supports systems like emails, which helps the Ford launch planes faster and more gently. Again, this is only possible because the ship can constantly generate so much power. What's really game-changing is how this affects the Navy's future plans. In the past, ships had to limit energy use. Now, the Ford can be upgraded with future tech, better radars, comms and even experimental weapons, without changing its core systems. Its design isn't just built for today's wars, but for the next 30 years of combat. That's what gives the Ford its advantage. But challenges remain. The big question is, can the Navy turn all this power into real battlefield dominance quickly enough to deal with the fast-changing threats out there? Today's most dangerous threats come from weapons that are blindingly fast, incredibly powerful, and nearly impossible to stop in time. 
hypersonic missiles and drone swarms have transformed modern warfare. They punch right through traditional defenses. Without new tech, even a powerful carrier like the USS Gerald R. Ford could be in trouble. Chinese hypersonic missiles like the DFZF can fly at Mach 5, plus using unpredictable flight paths. That makes them nearly undetectable, and nearly impossible to intercept. By the time a radar sees it, it might already be too late. These weapons are designed to penetrate layered defenses, and strike moving targets with enough force to sink even huge ships. They don't follow predictable arcs like ballistic missiles making them a nightmare for systems that rely on prediction. Meanwhile, drone swarms are a growing threat too. They're slower than missiles, but attack in massive numbers. Their cheap can be launched in waves and can overwhelm a ship's defenses. A single drone isn't scary, but 50 plus flying low and fast. That's a radar's worst nightmare. When there are too many targets, even the best missile or gun system might run out of ammo or run out of time. And these threats are spreading fast. Advanced military nations are building and testing hypersonic weapons, while others are putting together cheap attack drones from off-the-shelf parts. That means US ships could face both types of attacks at once, putting commanders under massive pressure. Old-school systems like SAMs and CIWs weren't made for hundreds of incoming threats or weapons flying at five times the speed of sound. Even cutting-edge radar like Aegis struggles when the action window is measured in seconds. That's why the Navy must rethink how it protects its most valuable ships. It's not just about stronger armor or better missiles anymore. Defense today depends on faster, smarter, more flexible systems, especially ones that can respond instantly. That's why laser weapons are becoming a must. Lasers fire at the speed of light, they don't need ammo, and they can keep firing as long as there's power. They're honestly perfect for fast-moving threats like drones or hypersonic missiles. And you know, they're way cheaper than missiles. A single interceptor missile can cost millions, but a laser shot might cost just a few dollars in electricity. That's a huge cost saving, especially when you're shooting down cheap drones. Lasers destroy targets in a different way, not by exploding, but by burning through sensors, engines or casings. A low power beam can blind a drone camera, while a high power one can burn a hole right through it. This can stop an attack without explosions or shrapnel. Plus, because lasers fire so fast and don't need to reload, gunners can keep firing until the threat is gone. This really fills the gap between long-range missiles and short-range guns, and gives ships much more flexible defenses. Now, lasers aren't perfect yet. They depend on weather, visibility, and available power. But honestly, the progress so far shows they'll soon become a core part of defending carriers like the Ford. In fact, they might be the only defense fast enough to keep up with enemies who are building smarter and faster weapons. The Helios laser system is the Navy's first step toward using laser weapons for real. With 60 kilowatts of power, built-in optics, and tracking systems, Helios is made to counter modern threats like low-flying fast jets and drones. It's already been installed on Ali Burke-class destroyers, which really proves the Navy is moving from theory to field testing. Made by Lockheed Martin, Helios is fully integrated with Aegis radar and combat systems so it can find and target threats faster than standalone systems. Whether it's blinding a drone's camera or burning through its body, Helios can adapt to different missions. It's a flexible and revolutionary tool for a new era of naval combat. One of the biggest dangers facing US Navy ships today comes from ultra-fast and extremely powerful weapons that are nearly impossible to stop in time. Hypersonic missiles and stealth drones are completely reshaping modern warfare, and honestly, they're pushing traditional defenses to the limit. Without new technology, even a powerhouse like the USS Gerald R. Ford could be at serious risk. Take the Chinese DFZF hypersonic missile, for example. It can fly at speeds over Mach 5 and follow unpredictable flight paths. That makes it incredibly hard to detect, and even harder to intercept. By the time a ship's radar picks it up, it might already be too late. These missiles are built to punch through layered defenses, hit moving targets, and deliver enough firepower to sink even the largest warships. They don't follow the usual ballistic arcs, which makes them a nightmare for defense systems that rely on trajectory prediction. At the same time, drone swarms are becoming even more dangerous. Unlike hypersonic missiles, drones are slower, but they come in massive numbers. They're cheap, easy to deploy in waves, and can overwhelm a ship's defenses. A single drone might not be a big deal, but a swarm of 50 or more, flying low and fast, could flood the radar and sensors. 
When too many targets show up at once, even the best missile and gun systems might run out of ammo or time. What makes this threat even worse is how fast it's spreading. Countries with advanced military programs are building hypersonic weapons, while others are piecing together cheap attack drones using off-the-shelf parts. This means US ships might have to face both types of attacks at once, forcing commanders to make split-second decisions under massive pressure. The reality is, traditional defense systems like surface-to-air missiles and close-in weapon systems just aren't enough anymore. They were designed for slower threats, not hypersonic weapons or drone swarms. Even advanced radar systems like Aegis, you know, struggle when you only have a few seconds to react. To face these new threats, the Navy has to rethink how it protects its most valuable ships. It's no longer just about stronger armor or better missiles. The future of naval defense depends on faster, smarter, and more adaptable systems, especially ones that can react instantly. This is why laser weapons are no longer just a cool idea. They're an urgent necessity. Lasers fire at the speed of light. They don't need ammo, and they can keep firing as long as there's enough power. This gives them a near instant response to fast threats like drones or hypersonic missiles, and they're much cheaper. While one interceptor missile might cost millions, each laser shot only costs a few dollars in electricity. That makes lasers especially effective against cheap threats, like small drones that would otherwise require expensive weapons to stop. Using multi-million dollar missiles to shoot down low-cost drones just doesn't make sense, especially in long wars. Lasers destroy targets in a unique way. Instead of exploding, they use intense heat to burn through sensors, engines or missile casings. A low-power beam might blind a drone's camera. A high-power beam can punch a hole straight through its body. That kind of damage can stop an attack without the blast or shrapnel of traditional weapons. These systems also give gunners more chances to hit. Since lasers don't run out of ammo and fire instantly, operators can keep firing until the threat is gone. That's a big upgrade compared to systems with a limited number of shots. Lasers fill the gap between long-range missiles and short-range guns, giving ships a more flexible line of defense. That said, lasers still have limitations. Their power depends on weather, line of sight, and how much energy the ship can supply. But the progress so far shows that lasers could soon become a core part of how the Navy protects its carriers. In fact, they may be the only defense fast enough to keep up with the pace of future threats. The Helios laser system is the first step in bringing laser weapons into actual Navy service. It's a high-energy laser with built-in optics and tracking, designed to counter modern threats like small drones and fast low-flying aircraft. It's already been installed on Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, showing that the Navy is moving from theory to real-world testing. Developed by Lockheed Martin, Helios is a 60-kilowatt laser fully integrated with the Aegis radar and the ship's combat system. That integration allows it to track and engage threats faster than standalone systems. Depending on how much power is used, Helios can blind a drone's sensors or burn through its airframe, giving it the flexibility to handle multiple mission types. Lasers fire at light speed, don't run out of ammunition, and can be powered by the nuclear reactors aboard ships like the USS Gerald R. Ford. Once fully mastered, lasers could shoot down drones, missiles and even hypersonic threats, with almost no delay between shots. That's why the Pentagon is all in on making this tech work. Lockheed Martin and other defense contractors have already started testing higher-powered systems designed to protect carriers and destroyers. Over the last two years, funding for laser development has increased sharply, and new prototype weapons are being installed for real-life sea trials. These systems are trained to work alongside ship radar and can track multiple targets under pressure. Even if they don't fully replace missiles, they could become a powerful support system, or even a primary line of defense. This shift isn't just a budget decision, it's a strategic one, driven by the changing nature of warfare, especially with China and Russia developing cheap, fast, and hard-to-stop weapons. The US Navy knows it can't rely on old defenses alone anymore. Every dollar not spent on traditional tech is now being funneled into laser development. This isn't a gamble, it's a critical investment in the future of US naval power. Despite how advanced current defenses are, they're struggling to keep up with the new wave of aerial threats. As missile technology gets faster and smarter, even cutting-edge systems like CIWS and Aegis are being pushed to their limits. The CIWS, or Close-In Weapon System, is one of the Navy's last lines of defense. It uses a rapid-fire Gatling gun to shoot down incoming threats at close range, but it has limited range, limited ammo, 
and takes a second or two to lock on and fire, which can be the difference between safety and disaster when facing a Mach 5 missile. Radar systems like Aegis are great for early warning and can track hundreds of targets at once, but even they can get overwhelmed by a well-coordinated attack involving drones, cruise missiles, and hypersonics. Interceptor missiles cost millions, can only be used once, and can run out fast. This is where lasers make the biggest difference. They don't need reloading, they travel at light speed, and they can rapidly neutralize multiple threats. While they're not yet strong enough to fully replace missiles, lasers can handle drones and smaller missiles, allowing other systems to focus on more serious threats. Military planners now see laser tech as the next layer in a multi-tier defense system. Instead of relying on just one or two systems, Navy ships will use radar, interceptors, CIWs and lasers, all working together. The goal is to build a defense capable of stopping anything, from a slow-moving drone to a hypersonic missile. The Navy hopes to deploy more effective laser weapons soon to deal with these rising threats. Until then, current tools still work, but they're under pressure. To survive the next generation of missile attacks, US ships will have to react faster than ever, maybe even at the speed of light. The US Navy's race to develop combat-ready laser weapons is now a matter of survival, not just progress. With threats getting more complex, traditional defenses may simply be too slow to protect carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford. That's why laser technology isn't just a future idea. It's a mission-critical priority that has to succeed before the next war begins. In a battle where milliseconds matter, only lasers can respond fast enough to stop the threat before it hits. This isn't just about firing endlessly or reacting quickly. It's a complete shift in how warships defend themselves. Unlike missiles or guns that need reloading, Lasers can keep firing as long as the ship generates enough power. And because they move at light speed, they offer a decisive advantage against weapons too fast for mechanical systems to track. In modern warfare, where every second counts, that speed can mean the difference between survival and destruction. The Pentagon's recent decisions show how serious this shift is. In 2021, it cancelled the railgun program, and in 2022, it shut down the GLGP missile project redirecting all funding and focus toward laser weapons. These cancelled programs once promised a new wave of defense capabilities, but now, lasers have become the top priority. At the end of the video, thank you for listening, and please follow the X News channel. Watch the upcoming videos, and support